Okay. Hiya. <laughs> okay, we'll go right to questions for the student athletes. Please raise your hand with your questions. Right here in the front. Uh, Tanner Rounds, U92 radios for Jayla. Every game now could be your last one in a uniform. How do you play with that mindset? Or do you just put that in the back of your mind? Is that something that you play with now? And you know, obviously you don't want it to be your last game, but how does that you know, kind of impact your performance or even just your day-to-day -day while you go through this tournament? Um, I think that you know, every game that I played this season, I've tried to play like it was my last game and just leaving it all on the court, you know. I feel like, you know, this game shouldn't be any different. I try to go out, try not to think too much about the future. Uh, Luke Blaine, Daily Athenaeum. This one's also for Jayla. I'm sure you noticed yesterday during the game, uh, your little sister kind of <laughs> stole the show a little bit. Um, so on top of that, you know, with this being your final year, what does it mean to have your family there with you through this experience in the NCAA tournament? Um, it means everything to me. You know, my family have been like my village ever since I've picked up a basketball. So just to have them here and, you know, in these big games under the big lights, just knowing that they're here to support me means everything to me. Go ahead. Aaron Parker, U92 Radio. This is for Kylie. Um, Coach Kellogg all year and last night talks about wanting to get to four, four scores in double digits or at least three. Uh, like, hey, I need to try to get double digits or do my share. Um, because there wasn't going to be four in double figures. Um, I don't see it ever as being like a burden or anything like that. I think that we all play so much for each other that it's just if there's like somebody struggling, somebody else needs to help pick it up. And we're always there for each other. So I think it's more a question of being together than anything. Yeah, this is for Kylie. Um, there's obviously a lot of talk about Iowa's guards, but I'm wondering as a post player if you could talk a little bit about what you know their post play and what you guys may be able to do to have some success against them inside. Um, I think that this is just like they are a complete team. So I think that everybody has to be ready to play. It doesn't matter if it's a guard, a post, either way, we just all have to come ready to play and fight. Go ahead. Uh, this one's for Kylie. So Coach Kellogg talked about how there's kind of been a buildup for you for a good while as to kind of like hitting your stride and playing. Do you feel like you're kind of finding your flow? I mean, you were a big part of that run yesterday uh, that gave you all the lead in the second in the second half. So does it kind of feel like you're hitting your stride and your play at the right time? Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm getting a little bit more comfortable in everything with the system that um, Coach Kellogg's put in play. Um, but I also think a lot of it comes back to our team. They've always believed in me throughout the whole whole year, so I think that that's something that speaks strides to being comfortable. Further questions? Towards the back there. Joe Picado, West Virginia Metro News. Jayla, was it, you knew coming into the year this team had potential and could do some good things. Was there a point mid-season where you really thought that this team was capable of getting to the stage that you're currently on, any particular game or any stretch of games during the year? Um, yeah, I definitely, I think that I had, you know, my doubts in the beginning, you know, like everyone with a new coach, new teammates, everyone was kind of, you know, skeptical at first, but I think that we all kind of bought into the system and just kind of bought into, you know, each other and just kind of played for each other. And I think that, you know, going into each game, knowing that you have, you know, 13 other girls behind you willing to go to war and go to bat for you is, it really speaks volumes. Up here in the second row. This is for both of you guys. Can you, Coming, excuse me, can you identify yourself? Uh, Aaron Parker, U92 Radio, uh, WV Student Radio. Um, you guys were both here with Coach Putzwhite last year, and Jayla, you've been with Coach Carey, Putzwhite, and now Kellogg. What made you guys want to stay here at West Virginia and not maybe jump ship because times were getting tough and you knew you were gonna have to adapt to a completely new person and a, a completely new system? Go ahead, Jayla. Um, I think for me personally, just being, you know, in West Virginia, when I first committed, I didn't even know where West Virginia was. <laughs> um, but, you know, finally being able to go there in person and just being able to see the environment and see, you know, the fans and how everyone there was so welcoming and just embraced me, um, it really put a lot of, you know, it was a big factor in my decision. Kind of go off of that too. It's 
West Virginia is such a community. Like everyone there has your back no matter what. So I think that that's something that's huge. But also like Kellogg, he had a plan coming in and he met with all of us and talked about it. So I feel like he really eased a lot of us. Front row here. Uh, Tanner Mounts, U92 Radio. Um, you, you touched upon West Virginia's fans, and obviously you, know, you saw them yesterday. Some of them traveled, but you're about to play in a sold-out uh, arena that's going to be a very large portion of Iowa fans. Is there any arena this season that you've played in or anything that's given you any kind of anticipation for what you're about to be walking into? Go ahead, Jayla. Um, I would say... I'm trying to think. Big 12. Yeah. It's Pretty a much. Bit. A lot of the Big 12 teams that we play, especially like, what do you think? Kansas. Kansas, especially, like playing in a gym like that historic. And, you know, it, it seems small when it's empty, but when it's when it's fans in there, it definitely is a different, <laughs> different atmosphere. So I think that just being able to, you know, stay locked in and just focus on the bigger mission and not get distracted is just big part, part of, uh, you know, helping us out tomorrow. Further questions? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.